When a substance dissolves in water, we say it's aqueous. Thus, we write the formula followed by AQ. For example, if calcium chloride is dissolved in water, we represent this as CaCl2Aq. An aqueous solution of calcium chloride conducts electricity very well, which means that it exists nearly completely as dissociated ions. We can write an equation for the ionization of aqueous calcium chloride as CaCl2Aq arrow Ca2 plus Aq plus 2 Cl minus Aq. The single arrow means that the solute dissociates completely or nearly completely in the solvent water. Notice that the subscripts in the formula become coefficients when we show the ions separately. It is appropriate to represent strong electrolytes either by the molecular formula followed by Aq or as the separated ions. For example, CaCl2Aq or Ca2 plus Aq plus 2Cl minus Aq. Sugar dissolves in water, but it does not conduct electricity. This is an example of a non-electrolyte. To indicate that it dissolved in water, we write C12H22O11 Aq. Since it does not dissociate, we do not need to write an equation. Acetic acid or vinegar also dissolves in water. Thus, we write its formula as CH3COOH AQ or C2H3O2H AQ. Recall that when a weak electrolyte, like acetic acid, dissolves in water, it conducts weakly, which is one piece of evidence that tells us that a small amount of molecules breaks apart into ions. We can write the equation in the following manner. CH3COOH AQ, double half arrows, CH3COO negative AQ, plus H plus AQ. The double arrow is used to indicate that the reaction can go in both directions. Because of the poor conductance, we know that the majority of the solute molecules exist as acetic acid molecules, while only a few break apart into the respective ions. In order to maintain these concentrations, if another acetic acid molecule breaks apart in the solution, then somewhere else in the solution, an acetate ion and a hydrogen ion recombine to make a molecule of acetic acid. It is important to note that in the case of weak electrolytes, such as acetic acid, we tend to represent it the way the majority of the chemical species exist. In this case, we would write the formula as CH3COOHAQ or C2H3O2HAQ. This represents that the majority of the dissolved acetic acid exists in molecular form.